everyone, so today I decided to make an everyday hair routine and this is the end result. Now I just want to have a disclaimer, I do not use heat on my hair every single day. This is not even an everyday hair routine. I have my hair straight um, three times out of a week. So I just wanted you to know that I'm not into really damaging my hair. So yeah, and most people ask me what the length of my hair really is and I'll just show you now when I stand up when I stand up it like comes about here so that's the length of my hair um and a lot of people ask me how long I've been growing my hair out and this summer no last summer the summer of 2011 I had my hair cut to here so since the summer I've grown about that much so yeah but I have been actually growing my hair out for three years because when I was younger three years ago I cut my hair to here I had a bob oh my god I will never do that again but I love my hair now oh and another question somebody might ask is what's on my nails in the video it's really pretty um I Sally Hansen's nail polish and beet stain which is like the color and then I used sinful colors like glitter nail polish in Pearl Harbor 115 looks like that so yeah it's just this like glittery nail polish and I just put that over beet stain by Sally Hansen but anyways, that was a really long intro. Anyways, if you want to see how to do this hair, please keep watching. Hey girls, so, okay. So the first thing that I do is I wash my hair in the shower with Tresemme's, like two Tresemme shampoo and conditioners. This is Smooth and Silky Touchable Softness the shampoo and then conditioner is re-moisture for all hair types and this is the conditioner and then after I do that I get out of the shower and I put my head in a head wrap like this and I this is if I want straight hair I just put detangling spray in it this is a swamp kids I've had this for a really long time it's lasted you a long time I've had it for like years so I've done that and then so I let my hair sit up here and a head wrap for about 15 minutes I usually do my makeup but I already did it so and, and so my hair is still like halfway wet kind of and then I spray some heat protectant this is swab also I'm just gonna take my heat protectant and I do not like getting this at the roots because this can really make your hair oily. Unless it's like sopping wet. Okay. So I'm just going to take my heat protectant. And I'm going to spray it from the nape of my neck and down. Because I don't like it to get anywhere near my roots. And then that was a lot. So I'm just going to brush it out with my paddle brush. Paddle brushes are so great to have. These are my favorite. I totally recommend these over these. I mean, this is good because there's a vent, but you don't really need a vent because I'm not the person who like blow dries their hair straight. I just blow dry it to blow dry it. So I'm just gonna brush that in evenly. It's evenly disputed. But next, I'm just going to take my Revlon. 1835 tourmaline or tourmaline ionic looks like this just a regular blow dryer something special it has hot cold it has a hot and warm setting then a cold and then um low off and high so yeah it's just regular all i do as i blow dry my hair is i flip my head over and start blow drying so i'm gonna fast forward this part so it's fast and you don't have to hear the blow dryer go off because I hate that in videos. And yeah, so let's get to it. So 
how I do that. And as you can see, like my hair is so insane. It's like actually so curly. I was born with curly cues. Um, when I was younger, I had legit curly cues coming out of my head. And my hair was red. Um, it grew out being brown. So, But I have dyed my hair a couple times, but this, I finally let it grow out. And this is my natural hair color. It does have kind of a red tint to it, so it's not like legit red. But yeah. Now I'm just going to run my brush through my hair. Next, I straighten my hair with my Conair Infinity straightener. So you're just going to section your hair in half. And then just like twist it up and clip it. Like so. So that just stays up and out of your face. So I'm just going to take... Not too big of section. Well, I don't know. Like my sections get really, really like choppy. I don't really pay attention. Like I will like take it all legit and like. Next, I'm just going to do the next layer. I put it in three layers, half um, to here and then my bangs. And so I'll just do the next layer and I'll get back to you. Bye. So I only have my bangs clipped up. I am going to take them down. And they look like so. They're so drab. Okay. Then... I take this the bottom hair and just wrap it around everything's in my face. Okay. And then I just straighten. I don't know, there's no real like real like a method that I do to straighten my bangs. This is kind of a step that's really, really optional because this can make your hair really oily if you use too much. This product that you can put in your hair is called Brazilian Keratin Therapy. It's by Organics. This was in Seventeen Magazine and so I decided to pick it up because they say that this can make your hair so straight. It's for flat ironing your hair. Spray it generously on my brush, wave my brush out, and then gather all my hair and just do it from like nowhere near my roots because this would make it way too oily. So yeah, that's my hair every, well not every single day, but most of the time. This is what my hair looks like. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye. There are my neighbors staring at me. Where are they even going?